install Notepad, uh, we are going to use a new software for uh, the HTML editing purpose. The software uh, is called Bluefish. Go to Google and uh, type Bluefish. Bluefish editor. And it takes you to a new website called bluefish.openoffice.nl. Open Office is a, a, a big online uh, resources. They pro they are providing uh, alternative software, open source software, to the very popular computing uh, activities. For for example, uh, software for word processing, software for spreadsheet presentation databases. Mostly we use uh, commercial softwares and uh, this open source software are meant for uh, uh, people who can't afford commercial software and providing almost equal uh, equal facilities features. So in that line of uh, open source movement, open office uh, uh, has provided a, a new uh, software called Bluefish. This is uh, a powerful editor, uh, primarily targeted towards programmers and web developers. Since we are learning HTML uh, coding, we are designing a web pages, news websites through uh, HTML coding. So Notepad is a, a fundamental software and uh, uh, it's required for initial understanding of HTML coding. Uh, we have learned that uh, uh, coding in the first two weeks about text editing, image, uh, uh, inserting image and inserting hyperlinks, and the basics of tables part and its functionality. Since we are moving to a little advanced level, in uh, uh, the advanced level in the sense, uh, we are going to uh, uh, compartmentalize the pages into multiple segments that in order to achieve the desired design for that we had to use a lot of uh, tables and different uh, configurations that we had to create so the bluefish would be the ideal way for the beginners as well as advanced people and it's more like a, a, a notepad only but it helps you to uh, finish the coding process early and as well as identifying the any errors quite easy to identify so go to Bluefish and go to download and depends upon your uh, operating system, Windows, you can go to Windows installer or, or Mac installer or if it is in uh, run your system running in Linux, you can take any one of these packages. So I have already downloaded the software I have installed. So once you download, uh, for example, if you go to Windows and uh, Go to the last line. This is a 12.2.10 setup.exe as on July 2020. This is the latest uh, version and this can be downloaded and installed in a system. It's a small file only, 4.4 MB. It should be available within a reasonable time. And once downloaded, double click the file and it will install the software in, in a reasonable time so i'll open that uh, uh, my bluefish which i installed in the system so this is an icon you will notice in your uh, laptop or computer bluefish and, uh, and double click that almost like a, a notepad only and one advantage is it can be used for multiple uh, programming, Python, SQL, PHP, HTML, DHTML, Apache, and uh, we are going to use only HTML. Okay, or you can use a standard. So this exercise, today's exercise, what we are going to do, 
we are going to learn uh, how to design a page that looks closer to industrial standards so this is uh, uh, so far in the earlier exercise we have learned how to insert a, a story and uh, have insert a hyperlink and uh, images and putting head headlines but in today's one we are going to uh, insert a logo and we will give a name for the website and we will give one description about the site and we will give categories and then we will introduce a hyperlink for the uh, stories inside the web website and we are going to use multiple tables so this is the first table for creating a title then another table for creating categories then third table is story nesting the story and then setting hyperlinks i think so first table uh, there are three columns logo title description second table there are five columns one row five columns home about us national environment sports the third column uh, three third uh, table three columns first column only the story hyperlinks and the second column we are adding the story actual story and the third column and for uh, getting a feedback from the social media accounts so that's the purpose we will try to create the same through bluefish software uh, with the help of html coding so start as like a normal notepad part html and type here the advantage is whenever you want to type something it will prompt you to select the software which uh, code tag you want to add so we are going to add uh, something the title inside the head so better you select the first option that give a space between the two uh, tags so head is selected and uh, if you look at that it will show you the starting and ending part unlike a notepad notepad we have to type everything in the bluefish when you type something uh, initial level automatically it closes so in the html that's a very crucial part when something uh, some tag is being opened or created it has to be closed appropriately of course there are some exception but a majority it has to be closed so here we are adding the title select and press enter uh, this is uh, welcome to ignos lab lab that's the title we are going to use and then title uh, closed and head is closed and then start the body and so body also we are going to use some materials so hence you select the first option where you have space for that so the last one is html has to be closed so select the first option closed so the page uh, the basic uh, uh, framework for a web page is being created now you save this file go to this first icon to save the current file and uh, always i mentioned from the beginning always create a one folder and where you have to save all the files so you type one name for this and already have created an index.html so uh, this is uh, uh, we'll save as a solar.html you can give any uh, but remember that you have to type the html part solar dot dot hdm and click save option save that file right and uh, we are going to create the, the first uh, uh, table the first table that contains logo title and the description so this is a table based uh, uh, segmentation so type table create a row and we are creating a, a first column the first column since we are dividing the uh, table into three columns so we have to give appropriate percentage before that we will specify the width of 
the uh, uh, table. This is a 70 percent. That's what we are using from the beginning to make sure that's aligned center. And also we will give a order so that's easy to identify with, from where the table starts from where it's in. We can identify the starting and ending point. So border one. And in the first column, you type width. This is a uh, we can say 25 percent. Align center. We are going to use an image, and uh, that uh, the, what I'm going to do is I have downloaded a, uh, a image from the website. This is called Igno logo. It was circulated during the last class, or else you can download it from the website Igno's website. This is called igno.png. There are uh, different types of images. The popular one is JPEG, and uh, but I got the uh, image is PNG because that's also quite equal and equally popular in the online field. So I'm going to insert an image uh, PNG here. So select ING, then automatically you just prompt you to type which uh, file you want to do that. Igno.png. Remember that this file uh, solar.html is being already saved in the same uh, folder. So we don't need to type the file path for the image. So directly the file, HTML file and the image file are save, saved in the same folder. Hence it's easy to give the file name as it is. And here we can see the one uh, new uh, tag called alt1. Alt one is a quite uh, you kind know, of uh, accessory. We can see that usually when we insert an image and when upload the image in the server, it should be available in the user. For certain reasons, maybe due to uh, uh, net connection speed or something wrong with the server side or something wrong with your browser. There may be some uh, technical reasons in which the image may not be shown in the user's computer. So in that mm -hmm. uh, context, if it now image is not displayed, then it shows on an empty box. And we may not, as a user, we may not know what actually this image is about. So whenever there is an image is not coming, so we will give a brief description about the image. At least the user get to know that okay this uh, image box empty box is actually ignores logo or any other particular image so here we are just saying logo of igno so that give a textual in, uh, image text information about the image in case of image is not displayed in the user side user uh, location since so a logo part and we will specify the width uh, width is uh, 150 and the height is 50. So that's the uh, uh, end of first column. In the second column, with this 50%, and we will use a H1. We are going to type the title, the people's newspaper. So going to be a blue color. So we will introduce a background color in the column. Background color, it's a blue. And since it's a blue color, and the text by default it's a black color, so we will change that. Font color, it's a white. So hashtag ff ff ff. That's it. Within the code, you have to finish that. And close the font. So that's the end of first column. And the third column. So again, it's a width is 25%. First column 25, second 50, third is 25. So 100% is coming. So the third one is uh, a description about the page. So I'll use H4.
Sí, eso ya es nada más. Eso ya es nada más. Media Students. National Language. Every description about. Um, the site. So since the second column we made it the background colors are blue, and here we will make it some red. Same for the third column. Save this file and here there is an option in the blue fish and this is a preview in browser and we don't need to go to the folder double click the file and open it in a browser or another option is go to the uh, browser control O and uh, select the file you can open it that's a possible but in the blue fish also gives option and you can preview the same file in a browser whichever the uh, browser available in the system as a default browser this file it opens that for that, that browser. So my file is being opened here. And this is it's coming, and here newspaper is coming, and lab channel. This red color is not coming. We'll check it what is wrong with that. So uh, with the, not with this is a background color. Refresh that you got it, and this is not in the center. This is in the center. This has to be center, align center. This has to be align center. So H1, uh, we will make it align center. This also align center. Save and refresh. So it's a logo, then the name of the website and description about the website. Now we will create uh, this uh, higher categories. Uh, there are five categories we need to create. This is one table and five columns. We'll go to the our bluefish part. And this is the first file, first table is over, so minimize that. We don't need to because it will lock by the more space. So, in this way, I think it will, you can minimize the Windows space for typing the further uh, HTML coding. So, table, and this is the second table with this the same 70% and align center. Border one background color black hashtag zero 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 six times then create the row and create the first column. First column with this we'll keep it we are dividing into five so hundred percent can be divided into five so twenty percent so twenty percent takes twenty percent twenty and type the percentage and align center here we are inserting hyperlink this is a home Close A and go to the HRF, AHRF. The home is always index.html type index.html. So automatically it creates a, a hyperlink. It creates a one text and it carries hyperlink. If you click the home, it takes you to the index.html. That's a plan. And we will make it this as a bold. So this is the first column we have created and now we don't need to type uh, uh, all the remaining four columns. We can copy and paste the uh, column information. Only we have to change the relevant uh, text and the hyperlinks. That saves our time. So the second one is about as. 
and here we need to think about as dot statement. Then third one national national category. This is national dot statement. And the fourth one international. Last one is sports. Sports artist. So that's uh, we have created the table, second table, seventy percent line center, border zero, and background color black, and row one row and five columns. Column one home. Column two about as we have given appropriate uh, links. Since it's a, we have this exercise, we are creating only one page, and eventually we are going to create an index.html, about.html, national.html, international.html, sports.html in the next uh, episode. So we have, but we have created a platform for us to uh, create a full package, the latest stage. So this page is. Ready. Uh, meant for uh, it's going to be common for all the pages, so that's why that uh, categories are common. Home about us, national, international sports. So, this is a second table with the categories. So, save this and go to your file and refresh that. We got it. Home about us, national, international, and sports. Since we haven't created this file, and if you click, it won't work. Right, so don't don't click that way. Click the hyperlinks. That eventually we will create the latest change. So now the second uh, row is over. Now the third one is we are going to create uh, a third table uh, with the three columns. One is a hyperlinks about remaining stories and action story and the news feed of the social media. So like the earlier one, we will close the second table. The third table we are creating again same with this seventy percent align center border line and as uh, you might have noticed in any in any websites news websites the stories news story has to be placed in a white background and black. Because we are trying to adapt the newspaper culture, newspaper news presentation culture, the normal newspaper. Newspapers are usually black, black text and white background. So more or less similar uh, uh, characteristics needs to be represented in online news websites. Majority of the top uh, national and international dailies, they use a common uh, design. That's a white background and a black text. Of course, the uh, the headlines and categories, advertisements, photographs, these are the colorful elements, but stories doesn't carry any colors because colors are having certain meanings. If you try to play around with the colors, then we are consciously or unconsciously, we are adding additional opinion to the story, which is not allowed in presenting a news in a news website. So if you look at any popular uh, international and national news websites, you can understand this. So that's why in this table, we are not changing the background color. By default, it's a white color. Create a row. And the first column. This is for the creating happenings for other stories. So width is going to be 25%. Background color. We will give a slightly different color. White, so we will use a gray color. Gray color coding is 808080. Alignment, we don't need to worry about that, we'll keep it as it is. And here we will type the first story, second story, third story. If you click the first story, it will take the first story, second story. Of course, you can name it the actual story also, but for the exercise purpose, for easy understanding, I'm using first, second, and third story. So we are creating a text and the text will be hyperlinked with the first story. So hyperlink has to be created. A, HR, and first story. And 
close it. And here, the first story is Indochina, Indochina.html. So that's uh, uh, first column, first column, first story. The second one, HRF. Solar, solar.html. Second story. And when we'll give, we will link with the solar.html. Third one. This is we can link with the sports status. And uh, this is uh, three stories, and uh, continuously we're typing because, as you know, in HTML, enter uh, white space doesn't have any meaning. Computer doesn't recognize this uh, uh, manual keyboard operations. So, in case you want to display uh, like this first story, second story, third story in different lines with the gap between the stories, then we need to give a break here. We are, and give two times, that gives space for uh, users to move around there. So this is going to be common for other uh, Apple links. So copy, paste it, paste that. Save this. So this is the first uh, story first column of their third table. The second table here we are going to use an at story. So width is 50 percent. Background color we are not changing that. And the last uh, week I had uh, circulated uh, stories through Google Classroom. So if you go to uh, that uh, folder, you will see a file called HTML Week 2 New Story.txt, which is available in the Google Classroom. The stories are given. You select the first story for this exercise. Copy the text. the blue fish and paste it here. So this is his first story, the story we are using for this page. And as you know, this is a raw text. There is no proper formatting. And I am repeating again, the enter operation or white space doesn't have any value in HTML coding. So this, whatever the paragraph is being given here, it won't look normal as explained in the first paragraph, first lecture. So every paragraph has to be manually recreated. So we are giving a P for paragraph to start the P in the close the P and start the book. And but for the easy operation, we are copying this. Pasting it in every uh, paragraph where it ends. So this way it creates a uh, different paragraphs uh, story and we will insert one uh, image also. Before that, the image has to be copied into our folder and go to uh, yeah, that the HDR, the go to Google Classroom where I have uh, uploaded the files for uh, exercise. One other file is this is a uh, Indo China one. This 
this is a file, this is a image, this I copy this image. Go to your folder where our Indochina index solar.html that file we are currently developing. That's we will paste that. That's called Indo in ten dot one dot jpeg. So this is the image we are going to insert to this one. So I am So that's a so that's the image we have inserted. Save this. Go to the original file, solar.html. Refresh that. So uh, we got the story, but it's not coming properly because the third column not introduced. So third column will introduce. is 25% so hypothetically we are giving once the, this site if we are assuming that if the site is operationalized in online platform the third column Text the social media feeds about international law, about national law, sports, major trends. So, okay, so that's the purpose of that. Okay. So the three uh, columns are created. First column, uh, Apple links for other stories. Second column, access story. The third column, social media feeds. Save this. Go to the file. Refresh that. Table has to be closed you know, after the okay, this dog directory. So now uh, you've got the story, you've got the uh, first column, you've got the third column. And, uh, by default, whenever the story uh, is very big or any content, if you add the table, it takes a middle position. Since the first column is the big story, so automatically it's not visible, and uh, that's a by default value. So any table, the column takes a uh, places the text in the middle, any content in the middle of that column. So this has to be changed. The default value has to be changed. Type V align. In the column V align. Third one also we are save this. So we got it. Now you look at the content in the third car, third table. The story, first to second, third story in the actual news content and third car. The story does not have a headline, so we'll add a headline. So 
Secondly, the content in each column is touching exactly the border of the table. So sometimes it creates a little disturbance. So we have to give us some space between the, the edge of the table and the content, some space. So that's uh, space between the cell uh, border. So go to the uh, table, type cell padding, make it 10. Okay. 10 pixel space image. So it gives some visual relief. So that's the one. The last part, almost we have done uh, everything. The last part is hyperlinks. Hyperlinks by default, uh, when you add hyperlinks, it uh, turns the text into blue color and underline. When you uh, use the uh, ideally visit the page image, it will become a problem. So that's a default value. But when you have, uh, nowadays, uh, this uh, default value is not being practiced in many websites. This is the default value that needs to be changed. That we can't change it through HTML coding. We have to use a, a style sheet. So after the title, type style. Select the style type text to public CSS. And here, we are changing uh, all the hyperlinks. The color has to be white. So very simple. Uh, this is called CSS, cascading style sheet. Cascading style sheet, very crucial. Like any normal newspaper, they use style sheet. Style sheet uh, gives uh, instruction for the reporter, sub editors, copy editors, designers, and it edit all the editorial numbers. What they supposed to uh, use whenever certain uh, uh, for writing as well as for design. Okay, whether name has to start with a mister or a byline has to be a full name or a correspondence name or how to uh, uh, use the different numerical values. So, consistency in the style sheet is basically maintaining the consistency in the newspaper. Similar uh, practice can be maintained in the website through CSS. Here, the instead of uh, uh, teaching the or instructing the uh, editorial members to uh, follow every time, here that this is the computer based, certain uh, styles, certain uh, design can be automated. Style sheet can be created. Whenever you add something, automatically computer takes care about that. Way. Whenever hyperlinks are added, that has to be bold and uh, white color. So that's what we are going to do that. So bold is being already given in the hyperlinks. We are changing the color only. So this is the, uh, A is a hyperlink, uh, uh, HTML tag. So wherever there is an A, the A takes the color white. FF, FF. So that's the uh, instruction we are giving. We will uh, uh, try to learn the style sheet in later presentations. But this is a only small, simple style uh, consistency we are adding to this uh, web page. And all the blue color changes into white. Right? So this is uh, uh, a complete uh, web page we have planned to create. And with the logo, title, description, and categories, and different stories, and action story with the image and social media feeds. Right? And next week, we will create a page like this uh, for other stories. And we will create it on a home page, four or five stories on a home page. So we will try to interlink all the five page story with the home page. A small a news website can be created in that. That we will take care. We will learn in the next episode, next class. Thank you for joining us. Next time.